Good morning, New Life family. Uh, I'm Jim Stockdale, and my wife, uh, Cindy and I, have been here at the Conway campus for about 15 years now. And we work primarily uh, in our marriage ministries and in pastoral care. And we're gonna continue today in our series on uh, finding and living out your purpose as a follower of Christ. And uh, I wanna talk just a few minutes about the idea of legacy. Our key uh, verse today is from Psalm 145.4 that says, one generation will tell of your works, the Lord's works, and just pass it on to the next generation. So we're in, a, we're in a, the idea of legacy where it's just like a relay race, where you're in a relay race and you've run your race and you extend the baton to the next runner and that runner grabs hold. And that's what we've been doing for almost uh, 40 years in ministry. And uh, Cindy and I have had the privilege of uh, not only discipling our children, but we've also been able to do that in the context a full-time ministry and uh, again raising these four daughters we realized that was for a lifetime and now with 15 grandchildren uh, we're able to impact them and those 15 will impact generations to come and here's just a few ideas that uh, that uh, I thought of as we were raising our girls and even now impacting our grandchildren uh, one simple thing is just old-fashioned quality time. I remember as our girls were growing up, we tried to land pretty regularly around the, the supper table to just pull everybody together. It was a pre-cell phone, so we didn't answer the phone. We turned the television off, and that's where we would try to have just meaningful conversation uh, pretty much every night around the dinner table. Uh, that's where we would talk about highs and lows of the day, that's where we were able to consistently do uh, family devotions. And uh, like Pastor Rick has shared many times, there are, there are times those devotions didn't go that well. Uh, but we were consistent. I do remember one night uh, I was leading the family devotion and, and all of a sudden I realized one of my daughters had, uh, was, not, uh, was not listening and she actually got the whole family, her sisters and even her mother, got them tickled and they started laughing. And they just said to me, when I said, hey, what's going on? They said, well, Dad, this is kind of boring. I said, and I didn't react very well. It didn't go well, and I, I kind of got mad and just stopped and said, well, man, next time, if you're bored, I'll, next time I'll bring in the overhead projector. Well, that wasn't the greatest way. I apologized, and we went on. But those family devotions, we were able to teach them one important idea of what we call God hunt sightings. These are moments throughout the day where you realize God is at work. And we had used that many, many times in our life. Another thing outside of quality time was I took on myself as the leader of the home to be a good shepherd. A good shepherd keeps the right kind of pace in the family system, in the family schedule, in the family dynamic. We love being in church work, but there were times we had to put uh, some boundaries down. We had to say no. We didn't answer the phone, and we just had to protect these uh, these young girls, and just uh, uh, so we have the quality family time. And then, as the shepherd, as they got older, we uh, began to guide them along certain principles of uh, how to pick good peers. Uh, we had a lot of discussion about dating and dating principles. We had to also just kind of show them and teach them to have their own personal devotional time, their quiet times, their worship time. But all of that was in the context of, of being a family shepherd for them. And then another, another big thing that we did was very simple. Being a ministry, which was our work, our vocation, we tried to include them in many things when it was possible. We would include them in things such as having a life group over, include them in the family. They might help uh, bake some of the cookies. Uh, we included them in praying for people. I remember, uh, this was pre-COVID many years ago, I would regularly take one of my daughters with me to the hospital to make a hospital visit, and that had a great impact on them. Uh, and then uh, we tried, even though we're in ministry, we tried every Sunday to make Sunday a really special day, to come together to worship together, for them to get involved in their children's activities, in the youth activities, 
And what was amazing was uh, our children, our four girls, always loved going to church. And I, that always felt good. That uh, even though it was our vocation, came with a lot of stress at times, a lot of, a lot of hard work, but they, to this day, still love the house of God. And it's great to, to be in church. And then finally, probably the easiest, probably most important, is we wanted to teach our children, our daughters, to simply be themselves. And we're trying to do that now with our grandchildren. We wanted them to be confident in who they were, in their relationship with God, what God had created them for, and to be confident in the fact that uh, Ephesians 2.10 says, we are God's workmanship. That word in the Greek is, a, is an implication of a masterpiece. So we just wanted them to be themselves. And I'll never forget one of the most rewarding times regularly with each of my daughters. I would uh, simply, sometimes tucking them in at night or having a conversation with them, I would tell them this little story uh, that just communicate, communicated great value to them. I would say to Sarah or Christina or Emily or Rachel, I'd say, you know, if I lined up all the Sarahs that had ever lived in all the world from now or throughout history, and I lined them all up, I was simply, as I was walking and looking at that line to find the Sarah that I wanted to be in my family, to be my daughter, I would go straight to you, Sarah, as the one I would pick to be my daughter and live in this family and then just to connect her, pass on the faith to her. I hope some of these ideas might help you uh, as a family, where no matter where you are, as a mom and dad, a single mom, single dad, grandparent, uh, just enjoy sharing it with you this morning.